Okay, so this can, of course, be altered because of where your natal chart has placements at or where this Virgo has placements at, right? But for the most part, these things will remain accurate when it comes to the solar chart, meaning the day-to-day -day life and activities um, according to your horoscopes. So Scorpios really would be more ideal for you to date a Pisces, um, just keeping it official with you now. It should be free, though. You know what I mean? Like, if you get the clinging on or even if they get the clinging on, vice versa, it could be it could spoil what is meant to be fun. So um, in case I lost you a bit, if you look at the other videos and stuff like that, when I talk about dating, I strongly emphasize the fifth house being a speculative matter. It deals with gambling. You know what I mean? So apply that to dating. Apply that to romance. You know, you put on your game face. You put on your best of everything when you first meet somebody. You're trying to impress them and things of that nature. You know what I mean? You want to take them to the good spots or whatever it is that you do. You know what I mean? I know I'm not going to detail it, but you get what I'm saying? That's a that's a gamble. It's just like you're trying to see if something could happen and transpire and grow into whatever the case may be. But this is not seven house logistics. Um, So now that that's clear for anybody who may be new to the channel and this is the first time you're looking at one of these types of videos from me you understand where i'm coming from um pisces is in the fifth house under the solar wheel for scorpio so that's where you would expect that type of expression the most freest and fun expression for a scorpio would be from piscean energy all right which deals with a whole mixture of things but that's for another video or whatever so you're dealing with a Virgo, though. So when dealing with a Virgo under the solar dial, this is what you're going to learn. Because when you're dealing with the solar dial, it's going to shed light on situations. You're going to learn that you're going to obtain a friend from a Virgo. You're going to gain a friend from a Virgo. All right. Now, what comes along with that, of course, is the expression of Virgo energy, which can be and more than likely will be critical to some type of extent you're going to be assessed you're going to be analyzed you're going to be critiqued now this is a red flag if you're being critiqued and this virgo does not um how should i say it does not have the intention of making you better in some type of way to where they're using empathy like okay i'm telling you this because i've seen how these people have talked about you or whatever the case may be and this is why I'm suggesting this for you. You know what I mean? If they're not doing it in that type of pull up type of caring way, then it's a red flag. You know what I mean? It's just them being, I want to say obnoxious, but maybe not even obnoxious. Just maybe being just Virgoing. You know what I'm saying? If they're just Virgoing to Virgo you, like, then that's a red flag. But again, if they're doing this critical assessment of you because it's going to make your image better, some type of like public image in some type of way. So if they're behaving like a publicist, or, you know, a stylist in some sort of way, then this is how you know you've gained a friend inside of Virgo. And this is a this is a green light. This is a go for you. You know what I mean? Now, you should look for um, them to be looking at you as far as what you do for career wise. And this is why I mean even more if they could be like a publicist type of friend or, you know, because there's always going to be some critical analysis going on you know what i mean and it's just something that you're going to have to accept or reject don't get me wrong you can reject it as well but if you want to gain a friend in this virgo you should expect that and more than likely it could come along the lines of what it is that you do for a career what it is that you're known for because virgo lands in the 11th house under the solar dial for scorpios so 11th house deals with friendships it deals with networks and organizations to help bring your dreams and your wishes into fruition, Scorpio. So when you observe the Virgo pulling you up and giving you critical analysis according to your career and what you're being recognized for, then you know that this is a go, that this is a friend indeed. Now, something that you may lose sight of or may not be aware of, and it's not going to necessarily be totally your fault is the type of contractual agreements that could come along with this meaning um i know you've heard the story time and time and over again is when you know people link up with other people they hit it off they're cool and everything they build a good rapport uh, one may assist another in catapulting their career to a level right to a certain extent and 
people in that immediate circle have observed that so they have the proof of saying yeah i was there you know around that time they was like this so you couldn't even separate them you know what i'm saying and this person actually helped that person get to where they're going and then later on down the line you see that they have a fallout because um you know some type of other group or network came in infiltrated to some type of agree or maybe just became an opportunist which is 11th house stuff right just became an opportunist attached themselves onto that friend that you helped and the next thing you know they had a fallout like be aware of this type of situation this type of story all right because when things are not clear cut concrete and concise things like this can happen and it might be you know it could be either one of you that have a fallout due to that like so let's say scorpio i'm talking to you so let's say beginning with the virgo let's say you've noticed how they've helped you with their critical assessments and i'm not just saying that that's all virgo is good for but even things that are relative to health like if they say you should diet you know watch what you eat or you should get a checkup you know what i'm saying things of that nature like this is how you know this is it what it's supposed to be you know what i'm saying and if you've seen that they did this for you time and time again and it made you better should you had applied it and then you see them doing that for someone else it may be for you to see them doing that for someone else only so that you can see what the 11th house magic is about. It's about for you, right? It's about seeing Virgo energy go to work to help put people in positions to bring their dreams and wishes into fruition. Now, Scorpio energy, of course, you know, can be jealous of that, right? So this is something to be aware of, to check your temperature at the gate and say, okay, wait, this person has done this for me the only reason you're probably seeing that is because you're a scorpio you get what i'm saying only because you're supposed to see the 11th house magic of virgo energy so now that you notice you can be like oh okay i see this this is nothing to be jealous of like this is this is really my friend this person is really looking out for me another thing to be aware of is this scorpio right it's like you know the whole friends before lovers thing you know what i'm saying i'm not saying don't do it um I'm also saying be aware of it. You might not want to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Because when intimacy gets involved with friendships, um, it could, you know, you know how it goes. It could change things. You understand what I'm saying? And you're a Scorpio. So them being with you is going to transform them in some type of way, regardless. You know what I mean? So it might be that it's supposed to transform them after y'all get intimate and then it, you know, it turns into what it turns into. Whatever the case may be, also be aware that you're going to transform their lives in some type of way because your energy is being expressed in their life under the solar dial somewhere as well. You get what I'm saying? Um, but be careful about this because you may lose your friend. Like, I don't know if you've ever been with people in um, really have not slept with them you know what i'm saying and it's been beneficial to your life to the relationship and everything like if it happens that way and then the next thing you know you're being intimate and then you lose that value part of the relationship you can only blame yourself you understand what i'm saying now again i'm not telling you not to do it i'm just saying be aware of it. you might hit it off and y'all might be together forever i don't know you know what i'm saying and this is why i say Things in the natal chart can alter what I'm saying, but this is what you'll see on a day-to-day -day basis from a Virgo, regardless, Scorpio. Um, also, look at this. Look if there's money involved with this, because you're going to have acquaintances, you're going to have uh, associates, you're going to have friends, right? There's levels to this whole 11th house energy stuff, and friends really... Bringing your dreams into fruition takes money. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes people just overlook that or want to overlook that because money can create sticky situations. However, Venus rules over money. It's interacting between two, right? So it's just like, you know from your everyday experiences the things that cost money in this monetary-based system, um, money helps. So this is not to be looking at money as some type of evil thing here. So if y'all could be conscious about this in y'all rapport building, then you can hit it off immediately by saying, okay, well, we, I'm going to give you your cut off top. You know what I'm saying? And things that you speak about should be more relative to your dreams, your wishes, and your goals. Even doing something that could help humanity in some type of way. You know what I mean? And if it gets aloof and it gets distant, Scorpio, this is not something to be um, suspicious about. Because it's just not your place. You know what I'm saying? This is your friend. This Virgo is supposed to be your friend. So don't be suspicious 
about you know what they're doing behind the scenes or, or what they're doing when they're distant from you is pretty much what i'm saying because the 11th house comes with that as well so it's just like those stories that you hear when you got a friend no matter how much time goes by you can call them up right now or text them right now and you'll be like yo i was just i was just you know checking in on you make sure everything is good and they good they like all right no doubt bro no doubt sis I feel you on that. Everything's good. Hope everything is all good. You know, if you still need that, I got you. I'm going to take care of that. Da, da, da. Or I'm going to take care of that when the time comes. It's just like they jump in when it's time to help you do your thing. And then they jump out. They could be aloof, but they're still your friends. Why? Because they helped you do that thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got paid. Y'all busted down. And life goes on. You know what I'm saying? Don't get caught up with this Virgo because Virgos are very talkative. And you can get duped by thinking like, oh, you're supposed to get attached to them because of the, the, the verbal part of the relationship. It's, oh, we communicate often. Well, why haven't you called me today? Or why haven't you called me this week at all? And it's just like, nah, don't, don't, don't get caught up with that. You know what I'm saying? Friends dip in when they need to, dip out when they need to. And people get that part confused and they think that, you know, the people, their friends are doing them dirty or whatever the case may be. You're looking for an acquaintance if that's the if that's the point. You know what I mean? You might want to look for some more third house energy or something like that. Somebody you can go walk to the store with, go to the bar with or something like that. No. When it comes to your goals and your dreams and your wishes, you talk to your Virgo. All right. I'm out.